There's a practice in yoga called Santosha, and it means contentment. And the reason that we're asked to practice contentment or a feeling of satisfaction with everything as it is, is because the yogis aren't supposed to celebrate the highs of life or fall into the despairs of life. We're supposed to remain in this, we're, we're working towards remaining in this even flow state called sattva, which is relaxed attention. And the reason that we want to get to this even flow state of relaxed attention and the reason that we practice satisfaction or contentment or santosha is because it feels good, because there's a feeling of relief in it, because there's a feeling of well-being in it, because there's a feeling of peace in that practice. Doesn't mean we're going to get it right all the time, but we do it because we will feel emotionally better. And that is a huge goal of yoga, is to feel emotionally better. So coming onto your back, bring blocks, if you have them, you don't necessarily need them, but they might be nice, underneath your outer thighs with the soles of your feet together. Supta Baddha Konasana. Supta Baddha Konasana has an inherent back bend in the lower back and you can make it a little more significant if it feels good to you by lifting your chest slightly and rolling the front of your shoulders back. Otherwise, I would maybe minimize the back bending quality by tucking the buttocks slightly under. So make sure that you're content here, that it's an easy pose for you to be in for a few breaths. Settle in, close your eyes or soften your eyes, and then take your first couple of breaths to soften the palms of your hands and your wrists. Move your attention to the front of your hips. You might even place your hands on the front of your hips just to give yourself that feedback and reassurance of opening and letting go. And I would like you to imagine that you could inhale from the front of your left hip to your right hip. And that you could exhale from the front of your right hip to your left hip. Letting your inhale travel from left to right and your exhale travel from right to left. And as you settle into your breath, begin to think of anything at all in your life, maybe even the fact that you're getting to practice yoga for a little bit, anything that makes you feel contentment or happy or peaceful or joyful. Could be a place, it could be an object, could be a person. could be the flow of breath from left hip to right hip and right hip to left hip. Take two more cycles of breath. And keep your left leg as it is and draw your right knee towards your right armpit. Do real lazy, soft circles of your right ankle. And the other way.
Now, relax your arms into a cactus shape or down by your hips if that feels too strong. And as you inhale, think of reaching your leg out to its full length, keeping it turned out. And start to reach your leg out in a turned out fashion. And as you exhale, draw your right knee towards your right armpit and bring it in as close as you can. Inhale, extend the leg out so it's on a diagonal, sort of reaching towards your upper right corner of your mat and exhale, pull in. Inhale, pull out or reach out, exhale in, reach out, squeeze the leg straight as you can and then pull in, hold the back of your right knee. Just hold the back of your right knee easy and then Reach your legs straight again. Now it'll be closer towards the right side of your face. Point your toes, flex your foot, bend your knee. Just easy, point and reach. So now you're going more to the right side of your room and flex and bend. Point and reach. So if we were standing up, this would be variation of Pot and Gustafsson. Point and reach, flex and bend. And then hold your point and reach. Make your leg super long. Reach your leg, left leg is still heavy. Pull your toes back, your right toes. Flex your foot and then spread your toes and reach through the big toe side of your foot a little bit more specifically. Good, if you'd like to work abdominals, release holding your leg but keep it there and bring your hands up and through and then bend your right knee again and squeeze the inside of your right knee to your right arm. You could call it a variation of crow pose. Take about two breaths. And then draw your right knee straight into your chest. Bring your right foot down to meet your left foot. Release Supta Baddha Konasana. And take about two breaths here, just noticing if your right hip feels already different than your left hip. Good. Exhale. Keep your right leg where it is. Draw your left knee out towards your left hip. Slow circles of your left ankle. And the other way. Good. Hold your leg in towards your left armpit, but release into cactus or lower your arms. If your shoulders feel tight, then it's better to just work with the hands a little bit lower. And then we're moving. Inhale, point and reach. So this one is more forward towards your upper left corner of your mat. Exhale, knee pulls back in the direction of your left armpit. Inhale, reach the leg long. Exhale, draw in. Good, with a pointed foot on this one, reaching out, pulling in, reaching out, pulling in. Now holding, I'm coming from the outside, holding the outer and then behind my left knee. So it's an easy hold. And now I'm gonna take it on the diagonal. This is more reaching towards your left ear. So point to reach the leg straight. Exhale, flex to bend in. So working the ankle and the foot. Point to reach as well as the calf and the hamstring and the hip. Two more. Point, reach your leg long. Try not to rush. Flex. And then we're holding this one long for a moment. Make your leg long, flex your foot, spread your toes, and reach a little more significantly through the mound of your big toe. We can turn this into abdominal work by reaching our hands up and through, curling the chest up, and then bending your left knee so that you can make contact with your left arm. Press everything forward, pull your navel to your spine. Fantastic. Draw your left knee in and then place your foot down. Move your blocks out of the way. Step your feet a little wider, maybe not quite as wide as your mat, but a little bit wider than you normally might practice and let your feet slightly turn out. 
Press your elbows down and let your chest lift up so you're in the back bend already. If your low back is a little dicey, then you can stay right here or just barely lift your butt. So you decide how high you're lifting on these first. The inhale is a lift and you're reaching your hips towards the front of your feet away from your face. The exhale is the lower. The inhale is lifting. Variation of bridge pose with your feet in a turned out position, which will work your outer hips a little bit more than our regular bridge pose. Inhale to lift. And then for those of you with knee stuff, sometimes this slightly turned out position feels better for the knees as well. Inhale to lift and now we're going to hold the lift. So the lift can be real low or real high. And then you'll lift the ball of uh, the heels of your feet up. Push the balls of your feet down, reach your toes into the mat, but lift your heels up. And imagine that you're lifting your heels up so much that they could touch your sitting bones. Make that connection between the heels and the sitting bones. Lower your heels back down. Keep your hips lifted. You might even kind of hold your outer hips with your hands so that you can just kind of feel where they are in space. And if you want to really work it here, reach your right leg out to the right on the diagonal with a pointed foot. Hard. Lower your right foot, reestablish, and then reach the left leg out on the diagonal. Try to keep your left hip as high as your right hip. Coming down. Now turn your feet more forward, lower your butt, and let your knees click together, a constructive rest. Both knees drop to the left, windshield wiper, twist. If your right knee is bothering you at all, try turning onto the top of your right foot more. If it's available to you to go deeper, you could bring your left foot on top of your right. And then we might reach the right arm up towards the right side of your face to go a little bit deeper through the side body. Three deep breaths into your ribs. Really let your palm of your right hand and your wrist feel soft. Lower your right arm, bring yourself back through center, unhook the leg, and then drop both of your knees to the right. If the left knee is at all feeling tuggy or weird, try bringing your left foot closer, maybe coming closer to the top of the foot. So you go deeper for the hip, right foot comes on top of left foot, and a little bit more side body opening by reaching your left arm up. But all of it should feel easy and comfortable. This shouldn't feel like a big deal. Soften the left hand any amount. Good. On your next exhale, unwind and roll to your right side. <laughs> kind of keep the same shape in your body. So your left knee is bent, your right leg is in. And then walk your right hand out on the diagonal. So your shoulder is well behind your wrist. Now reach your left leg long and flex your left foot. I'm kind of pointing my right foot and flexing my left foot. Then I'm going to turn my left leg in so that it's long. Okay. The inhale is reaching your top arm, your left arm up. The exhale is sweeping it back down. Now, if I want to work my upper body a little bit more, I can lift my bottom hip up and I start to work the shoulder and the waistline a little more significantly. So hip stays down for a softer practice, hip lifts up for a slightly 
stronger practice. Sweep up and over. And then we're going to hold the top arm up and over, whether you're lifting your hip or not. Gaze down at your own right hand for a few breaths. So the neck should feel easy and soft here. Breathe into your left lung, your left collarbone, your left rib cage. And come on down. Bring the soles of your feet together. Doesn't have to be too close to you. Easy circles. Go any direction you like. Easy circles here. Let your head drop as you release through the hip and the low back. Neck is heavy. And the other way. Good. Come through center. Lightly hold your shins, roll your shoulders back. Drop your chin straight down and roll your left ear towards your left shoulder. Close your eyes if you're comfortable with that and return to the happy place, your satisfaction or contentment place or person or thing. Roll your chin towards your chest. Take your right ear towards your right shoulder. Through center, rising up, extend your right leg long. Point your left toes a little closer in. And then turn your right leg forward so that foot is flexed. Walk out onto your left hand. Make sure that your hand is well in front of your shoulder so it's not so hard. And just, just upper, upper body if you like. Inhale. So keeping it simple, opening the shoulder and the side body. Exhale back down. Inhale, reach. Exhale back down. And then you can add a lift of your hip. Inhale and exhale. Good. Inhaling, lift and reach. Exhale. Only add the hip if it feels good for you. Two more. And then we'll hold. Either the hip is lifted or not. We're going to hold the side body stretch and gaze down. If the hip is lifted, really push your left hand forward for more support. And then reach everything around. Reestablish hands and knees here. Big toes together, knees apart, wide-legged child's pose. Keep your arms long because we're going to flow right from here. Inhale, pull yourself through to this tabletop, keeping your knees wide. Exhale, circle your hips over to your right, around to your left, and then pull forward. Inhale, exhale. Now, if you went to the left first, don't worry about it because we'll do both directions. Circling back and around. And maybe your circle is not as big as my circle, so let the circle feel good. And then we'll change direction going the other way. Good. Reach back into child's pose. Take two cycles of breath.
slide forward to tabletop. Bring your knees a little closer. Tuck your toes under. Exhale, lift your hips, downward facing dog. And then bring your heels together in down dog. Toes out. So a first position downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels up. Bend your knees deeply. Exhale, heels come back down, legs straighten. Inhale, lift your heels up, bend your knees deeply. Exhale, heels down. This is giving us a way into a malasana that's going to be probably easier for most of us, one more cycle, than sometimes a full squat. So you got the space now and the angle is a little bit easier. Step your feet, not quite as wide as your mat, but almost. And then circle your hips to the right, pull forward to plank pose, circle your hips to the left, come back to downward facing dog. Circle your hips to the right, come forward towards plank pose, circle your hips to the left, come back to dog. And this can be shorter. You don't have to come all the way to plank. Circle, you could sort of cheat it and stay in dog. Around, circle, around, downward facing dog. And then the other direction, circle hips to the left, forward towards plank, around. Circle hips to the left, forward towards plank, around. Two more. Good, come back to dog, and then lower your knees, toes together, knees wide, child's pose. One more cycle of breath here. Inhale, pull yourself through, tabletop. Reach your right leg straight back, point your toes. Inhale, reach your right leg over to the right. Exhale, straight back behind you. Inhale, right leg to the right. Exhale, straight back behind you. Inhale, over to the right. Exhale, straight back behind you. Good, one more time. Over to the right. And then bring your right leg back behind you. Put your right foot down, reach your right arm to the sky. If you need a little more core work, brighten your chest and lift your left knee up. Otherwise, keep the knee grounded for the modification. Good. Lower the knee if it's lifted. Big toes together, knees wide, child's pose. Two breaths. Inhale, rise up tabletop, reach your left leg long, point your toes. Inhale, reach your left leg to the left, straight leg, exhale, bring it back. Inhale, bring it out. Exhale, bring it back. Two more. And pause, bring your left leg down the mat, point your toes into the mat. Push the floor away, reach your left arm up. Pause here for a little more work. You can lift your right knee up. Lower the knee if it's lifted. Exhale, child's pose. Two breaths. Inhale, shift forward to tabletop. Walk your knees back behind you. Bend your elbows, slowly lower your belly down to the floor. Reach the palms of your hands into the floor. Roll the front of your shoulders back. Slightly lift your chest. Inhale, lift a little higher. 
Exhale, lower a tiny bit. Inhale, lift a little higher. Working the upper back, exhale. Chin is slightly tucked so the back of your neck feels long. Inhale, a little higher. Exhale. Inhale, a little higher. Hold. If you like to work more, lift your hands off of the floor. And then also you could add your legs. Three cycles of breath. Lower your feet if they're lifted. Bring your hands by your ribs. Press your hands down and then turn them away from each other. So right hand spinning to the right, left to the left. They're not moving, you're just turning your mat. Elbows draw in. Pull your chest a little more significantly forward, cobra. Come down slightly, push your hands. Draw your belly in, exhale, press through a half plank. Hips back towards your heels, child's pose. Two breaths. Inhale, rise to tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Push your hands forward, lift your hips high. Scrub or pull your feet backwards. Lift your right leg up. Drop your heel towards your buttocks and then squeeze your right hip open. And by squeeze, I mean really pull the outer right hip in to lift your leg up. Push your hands forward, lift high onto the ball of your left foot and imagine that your left heel was connecting to your left sitting bone and then use this space to exhale your right foot outside of your right hand. Lower your left knee down. All right, turn your right foot slightly to the right. Move your left hand closer to the left side of your mat and then Use your right hand to draw your right thigh more open. Roll your shoulders back. Now, as you bring your right hand to your thigh, have some resistance, meaning I'm using my hand to push my leg open, but I'm also squeezing my leg back in so I don't overdo it. Variation of lizard or variation of malasana, however you like to look at it. Good, come back down, right hand down. Now walk your right foot in closer to you. Keep your arms straight, squeeze the inside of your right knee into your right arm, squeeze. So your hands should be on the inside of your right leg. Both hands are on the inside and then squeeze your arm into your leg. Now drop your head, push the floor away, pull your navel in like you're doing cat pose. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your left knee or your back leg. Exhale, quarter turn to the left, wide-legged forward fold. Lift your chest slightly, bring your hands underneath your shoulders, but not way in front of you, so still on the mat. From here, inhale, lift both heels up, exhale, heels down. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, heels lift. Exhale, heels down. Inhale, heels lift and hold. I want you to feel that your heels are connected to your sitting bones. Pull your navel in. Look towards your navel so the spine is more rounded. Push the floor away like you were going to rise up into a handstand from here. Lower your heels, inhale, rise up to standing with the wide stance. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a moment, reconnect with that satisfaction factor in your life. Reach your hands down, inhale, left arm reaches up, lateral fold to the right. Easy peasy. Inhale up. Right arm up and over, lateral fold to the left. 
Bring your hands through heart center. Exhale. Turn your right foot in and your left foot out. Let your hips turn slightly towards your front leg, your right leg. Legs are straight. Open your arms like a T. Square your shoulders. Inhale here. Exhale. Bring your right hand or your left hand to me to the inside of your left knee. Bring your right arm up by your ear. So nice and long. Push your feet away from each other. Lift your pubic bone towards the top of your head. Now this is very safe for the lower back, this version of triangle. The lower we go on the leg, the more we potentially invite uh, too much flexion. And I'm not going to get into the details, but if you want to go lower, you can. Just make sure that your back isn't giving you feedback that's not good. Draw your left buttock in. Squeeze your outer hip underneath you so that we keep the femur bone moving centrally in the socket. And then from here, you're simply turning to your left foot and stepping yourself into downward facing dog. Bring your feet wider on the mat. Inhale, circle your hip to the right, over to the left, back to down dog. Circle to the right, over to the left, back to down dog. One more to the right, only three this time. And then to the left, circle, over, dog, circle, over, dog, circle, over, downward facing dog. Step your feet closer together. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Bend your left knee, squeeze your left outer hip. So pull the hip in to turn the knee up. Lift high onto the ball of your right foot and imagine that your right heel was connected to your right sitting bone. Find that deep work. And then exhale, left foot steps outside of your left hand, right knee comes down. Turn your left foot to the left. Lean into your right hand and use your left hand to open your hip and chest, but slightly press your left leg back in. Good, release both of your hands to the inside of your left foot. Walk your left foot in closer. Push the floor away, squeeze your left thigh to your left arm. Exhale, drop your head, pull your navel in, push down into the mat, into your mat. Inhale, open your chest, extend your back leg long, quarter turn to the right, wide legged forward fold. Then Lift your chest up, bring your hands to the right under your shoulders, but still on your mat. Inhale, lift your heels up. Exhale, lower your heels down. Inhale, lift heels up. Exhale, lower down. Two more. Press into your feet, reach your arms overhead, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment, reconnect with your satisfaction, your contentment, your happy place, your peace, your joy. Right arm reaches up and over to the left, side fold. Rising up. Left arm reaches up and over to the right, side fold. Rising up, turn your left foot in and your right foot towards the short end of your mat. Let your hips turn towards your short end of your mat and then practice turning only your chest open. So really, this is the safest variation of triangle. You're getting a lot of the work, maybe not as much hamstring stretch, but you're getting the balance in the pose and the leg strength. If I bring my right hand to the inside of my knee, now I'm adding more left arm up and over side flexion. 
but no compromise probably even here for the low back unless your low back is really funky and then of course lower downs going to increase the hamstring stretch but there's other ways to get hamstrings that are a little bit easier from here turn towards your right foot bend your knee step back to downward facing dog inhale shift forward to plank pose lower the knees if you prefer exhale slowly descend really take your time coming down to build strength come onto the tops of your feet roll your shoulders back stay low walk your hands about two inches forward and keep them turned out mine are slightly off my mat inhale draw your shoulders back pull your elbows towards your rib cage and come into a variation of cobra pose a little bit easier for the shoulders in the back this one elbows draw in lower down bring your hands back draw back to child's pose exhale stay in child's pose or sit up on your heels bring your left hand down palm up and then lay your right hand on top of it touch your thumbs this is a buddhist mudra for meditation Let yourself relax here completely. Take about four count breath in, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. And a four to six count breath out. Setting the intention for the rest of your day to flow with peace, ease contentment santosha satisfaction appreciation Two more cycles of breath. Keeping your eyes closed. Inhale, circle your arms overhead, palms join. Exhale, touch your third eye, space between your eyebrows and then your heart on the same exhale. Inhale, arms circle overhead, palms touch. Exhale, thumbs touch the forehead and then your heart center. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Bow your head slightly in. <clears throat> 